Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Yo, what's up, y'all? Josh Pescatore coming back at you one more again with some more horseshit. <laughs> Make sure the mic's on. Hello, everyone. Uh, interesting day we're having today. I'm not really going to be interacting with the chat a lot this live stream. We're going to go right off to the races here. I have a really interesting situation that has come up that I, I just need to speak about all over Twitter. Nick DiOrio, what is going on with Josh Pescatore? What the hell happened? This guy was cool. He was, quote unquote, friends with everybody. He was around. Uh, he's been here for a long time. What happened with Josh? What is the story behind Josh Pescatore? A and naturally, I've been saying people to Tommy streams and Augie streams. We did about three streams on this recently. Josh Pescatore, of course, for somebody uh, maybe in the chat who doesn't know, has been somebody we've worked with a lot in terms of projects and stuff like that. He's a former Keemstar news team person who has defected, and now uh, he, he started his own news team called the uh, Pescatore News Network. It's where you'll find, uh, well, it's where you would have found John Swan before he blew up. Uh, users like A Star, Bill Baines, that's where they come from, the Pescatore News Network. And there's been a really interesting development on the Josh Pescatore front. In case you don't know, the channel Pescatore News that has 162,000 subs now, I mean, it, it, it's been above 200k at, at, at times, but now it's got about 162,000 subs, is not his. It was formerly the Keemstar Clips channel, and uh, if you take a look right here, you'll see that currently, if you go to his streams right now, you'll find a Streamlabs link that links to a channel called Keemstar Clips. Now, why is that? Well, essentially, Josh Pescatore was one of the biggest Keemstar dick suckers. Oh my god, one of the biggest Keemstar dick suckers for the better part of a year or two. Uh, he, he's been obnoxious in everybody's ear. When you thought of Keemstar, Josh Pescatore was this little employee that would always fucking go after you on Twitter. So there was a time when Keemstar wanted to troll someone named Woe Vicky. Uh, he created a channel called Official Woe Vicky, and if she did a DNA test, uh, the channel would have been given to her. It was a situation where the channel was like a, like a prize to be won. In January of 2009, I started my first YouTube channel and I had 50,000 subscribers by March and that's when this YouTube community was like so much smaller it was like 2% of what it is today and Vicky the most important thing is I have more clout than you could ever fucking dream of and I'm gonna prove it to you with some gangster shit because you don't own whoa Vicky anymore I own whoa Vicky I created a new YouTube channel called Official Woe Vicky, and in 24 hours, it's gonna have more subscribers than your fucking peasant channel. The link to Official Woe Vicky is in the description. Go there now and subscribe. And Vicky, you know what? If you want the official Woe Vicky YouTube channel, I'm gonna be a nice guy. I'm gonna give it to you. All you have to do is come on Drum Alert and do a public DNA test to show the world what race you actually fucking are. And eventually she didn't play along. One thing led to another. It was uh, rebranded as Keemstar Clips. Keemstar Clips was the name of the channel. Josh Pescatore was asked to make a channel for Keemstar for this giveaway, and it is in Josh Pescatore's name. So if this went to court, I'm pretty sure Josh would win. But the reason this channel gained so many subscribers is not because of the Pescatore News Network. It's because it was Keemstar's clips. Keemstar swatted during Fortnite win. That's the, that's the reason people subscribe to this channel. It was a whole channel filled with Keemstar clips that amassed a large number of subscribers, and when Josh had a falling out with Keemstar, he changed the name of the channel, took it on his merry way. Now, normally, again, there's no legal implication here. If it goes to court, it's probably going to be considered his channel. It's just something that a lot of us commentators found not, re not very respectable. So he basically walked away with Keemstar's channel, and he started uh, showing off uh, multiple different uh, news newsy time shows with a lot of different creators, and now he does live streams on so recently, we had an argument on a live stream called Augie RFC After Hours, I'm sure you've heard of it, where Josh Pescatore's uh, news team employee came on to like argue with Keemstar on why Josh wasn't allowed on Storyfire, why, why he wasn't allowed to upload and why he wasn't verified, and he, he said that he made 50,000 views this month. And I go to his channel while we're on stream, and I notice, why are these videos unprivated? He unprivated 
did three videos called How to Make a Drama Alert Thumbnail, The Proof That Rice Gum Plays His Own Games on Friday Night Fortnite, and Keemstar Swatted During a Fortnite Win. I've noticed that Josh Pescator, as recently as August 20th, unprivated some of the Keemstar Clips videos in an attempt to inflate his numbers. Wow, that's weird, right? Isn't that an interesting, an interesting development that you found? That Josh Pescator was trying to pass off numbers that weren't his on content that weren't his on a channel that's pretty much not his to try to push his brand. Again, something that a lot of commentators would find not very respectable. Something that I personally found not very respectable. So that's part number one. That th That's the public portion of it that everybody seems to know. That's the part that Keemstar tells whenever he's on a live stream. That's what people know as Josh Pescator. He's a man who worked for Keemstar until he didn't, did whatever Keemstar asked him until he didn't, and then walked away with a channel, rebranded it, and bought a bunch of play- did I mention the play buttons? He bought a bunch of play buttons, uh, well he bought his own play button and play buttons for the entire team of subscribers he didn't earn. Really respectable stuff, Josh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first it was official with Vicky as a joke. It got followers, and then we changed it to Keemstar Clips, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I remember <clears> that. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I go and get it partnered and everything, and it's got ads on it and everything. And I, a couple months go by, and I realize, like, the check's not going to me. Like, where is this check going to, uh -huh. right? And so I'm trying to figure it out, and fucking, I get on the phone with Josh, and Josh is like, Oh, you said I could have that channel. Oh, what? I, I never said that. What are you talking about? He goes, oh yeah, you you said I could have the money and I could keep the money from the channel. I go, I, I've never, what are you fucking saying this? <laughs> and, and just so you guys know, this is before Josh got his money because Josh won a big lawsuit and got a yeah, bunch of money. This is when Josh was poor, right? So he tried to pull this scam to me. So I got a big argument with him. I'm like, no, bro send that fucking money to me like you need to switch give me the fucking password right so he gives me the password to the channel right and uh we switch the payment to go to me right and it was this whole ordeal so i anyhow i get paid for like three months on the channel and then all of a sudden fucking josh uh it ends up no longer working for drama he says he quit but really i told him to go fuck off like a million different times and to leave and i didn't want him working for me but then i would just be like okay yeah let him stay and then finally he was like got fed up and he wanted to leave okay um so he leaves right and so uh, maybe two months go by a while goes by like, and I'm just not even thinking about it. I'm like, oh, the Keemstar Clips channel. I haven't been getting fucking payments from them. Like, what's going on over there, right? This motherfucker changes the password, okay? He changes the entire fucking channel from Keemstar Clips to Pescanor, Pescanor News or whatever the fuck it is, right? <laughs> Rebrands it. Network. And then he types on the social page of the thing, hey, this is Josh Pescator News. We're looking for a few people to work on my my news team and shit. And then he hires that John Swan motherfucker to be the voice for the That's channel. That's why you don't like him. Naturally, there's there's got to be more to this story. Otherwise, I mean, why would we be covering some fucking nobody who nabbed the channel? Let's be, let's be honest here. He basically walked away with a channel. Well... The reason that we're talking about this today is because we had another argument, me and Josh Pescator. We had an argument about uh, a, a user named Tommy C of Shot From The Point. Uh, Tommy C got into a, a blowout argument with Josh Pescator where uh, Josh called him a house husband and multiple other names. He dumped this uh, argument in a group chat. You got an issue, you come holler at me, but I'm not your employer or your kid. Who gives, uh, who gives respect, get respect. Well, then I took the note down that he told me to put in there. Uh, the note never said that I lied about anything. I just said that uh, there may have been a misunderstanding. He did say, I'm one of you guys. I never believe it. Just doing him a favor. He was helping me out. I help you out. Already did. Take it or leave it. So keeps talking like a gangster. In that note that I took down, I never misreported a thing. Nothing. And it's going back up on the channel with no citation or disclaimer. You giving money to people that are hunting down on, on in, in fucking South America, the people that killed your father, that's not being a soldier. I got news for you. You misreport about me. This shit is just a game, but sometimes I really think you want to have a go at me. I just do it like I'm doing now when you least expect it. You dislike me for some reason, Tommy? That's the last time I talked to him. April 8th, he finally figures it out after acting like a gangster with me. Did you take down that note? The one where you got all the info wrong? Now it's all the info wrong. First it was explaining the narco-terrorism stuff. The one where you got all the info wrong and the only thing you would do is correct the record because I don't see it anymore. You were a prick saying I lied about nothing. Where is it then? 
You got it wrong, Tommy. Real wrong. You have a platform. Go for it. I'm Darren. Make a video. Show me I'm a liar. Uh, you did delete my note. First of all, he didn't write it. I did. I wouldn't put the note that he put in because it basically, it, it, the note he wanted me to put was like, uh, I lied about everything. I didn't lie about a fucking thing. I'm talking about you lying about my terrorist, terrorist, terrorist victim advocacy. I still think you are, to be honest with you. This is where he goes off the rails. I know you can't afford me because most house husbands can't. I can't believe you're such a baby and deleted. I actually thought you had some integrity. Actually, if, I wouldn't have put it up at all if I had any integrity. Never lied. You said va you, you vaguely suggested us in a call in 2017 that you were a soldier and lied. Nobody knew about your dad or the lawsuit. By the way, Josh has made an incredible amount of money suing Chiquita Banana. An incredible amount of money. That baller shit, that's not YouTube money. Every fucking time. Let me tell you something right now. Uh, Josh Pescure is one of the least trustable sources in this community. And if you don't fucking believe me, Josh, uh, yes, I do my fucking little sneaking around too. Uh, you recording fucking big YouTubers and not telling them? Whoa! So Josh Pescatore reached out to a news team employee of Tommy C saying, I do think you should be getting paid for your work. And time though. No one should work for someone else's money and get nothing. Just a pet piece of mine go out and buy yourself a game fifty dollars and uh and then uh doc of course says uh, i don't feel comfortable taking that from you i don't know why you did that so essentially what happened was tommy got into an argument with josh pescator immediately after the argument ended he goes and says i don't think it's fair that tommy doesn't pay you here's fifty dollars buy yourself something sweet buy yourself something pretty i got into a situation with josh pescator uh, where we were dming back and forth about the stories that i just told you both of them in fact when when asked when you've been one of the most vocal keemstar supporters for years while he was paying you he states that's how a job works bro suddenly oh god now he's been mean to josh lol now it's everybody else's problem what this dm conversation shows is that josh will do literally anything for money josh will lie in situations josh will defend things he doesn't believe in if he's given money so josh pescator really making it difficult to trust him as a news source right about now uh that, that that's what was said and his responses were really interesting do you agree that those 250k original subs came from Keemstar, yes or no? I agree they came from Keemstar promoting it, yes. But that's people's problem. That's it. It all has right. nothing to do with yeah. legal ownership. That's the problem. Yeah, I, know, I totally get that. I, I no, have a genuine question. You get all the time and, asking and your, us, your why answer, am I stuck this channel? I have a genuine question. Your answer dictates what comes next. I want to know how many people that Pescator was talking shit about me to after we had our falling out. Because I was told in a group chat we were all in that everyone knew I had a big falling out with Pescator. So I want to know how many people know and what they know. The only people that I know and were there for when Josh had talked about your falling out with him in DMs on Twitter was uh, us and the PNN team, and then to Bo Did Black. Did he post the screenshots? To us in, in private? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm dumping them. Uh, I, I'm gonna put this. Okay, so I dropped those DMs because I was told that he had talked to them uh, about, like, there was the DMs were seen by multiple people. I joined a Discord server. Everyone had heard about it. So it was at a point where, you know, I, I have to say something now because misinformation spreads a lot. And, and I want to avoid that situation. I also found out that he had spoken to Bo Blacks about it in private, and the DMs were shown that way. So naturally, I'm going to put this shit out because if you're going to lie about me, well, it's fine. I'm just going to post them. So I see a message saying this. I hope Nicholas Iorio doesn't pussy out of speaking to from my face. Uh, speaking to my face, I know he's a pillow soft boy, but he can bring his drunk lover Tommy. If he isn't babysitting, I guess. Grease up those cheeks, Nikki. Boss Hog. <laughs> Boss Hog is coming to break you off, baby, with your broke ass. Okay, that's kind of an interesting reaction to a live stream. That's an... That's, that's an interesting reaction. Uh, to everyone else, I'm taking the week off to spend with friends and family. Uh, next time you see me, it'll be at the beach. Deuces. Okay, that's weird. That's a little bit weird. I, I, I think you yeah, chat. You're, you're saying it's weird. It's a little bit weird. Uh, apparently, I need to grease up my cheeks because Boss Hog is coming to get me. I have to tell you, Josh. Well, you're not my type. Um, listen, I know this seems like a sexual advance, uh, but I, I'm sorry. I do not swing that way. I, I, I'm sorry. But he continues. It is not a debate. I'm calling his bitch ass out. He can run if he wants. I'm pretty sure I might catch up to him IRL sometime this year. I do have unlimited resources while Nick and Tommy struggle from month to month just to pay bills. I'm sure I can come up with something creative and invasive at the same time. Okay, there's a lot here. We're gonna break this out like line by line. 
So Josh Pescator, in the last message and in this one, announced a debate. There's apparently a debate on his channel. I have to let everybody know, I was never contacted. He just announced a debate. He didn't tell me we were doing a debate. He didn't ask me if I wanted to come on for a debate. He just announced that I'm going to show up on his channel for a debate, which is incredibly funny. I, I, I'm sorry. My policy is I only debate YouTubers. Uh, here's the deal. If you return Keemstar clips to, to Keemstar in the exact way you found it, and you could get a channel up to 20,000 subscribers by yourself, I'll debate you. Otherwise, uh, well, fans belong in the comment section, Josh. Now, uh, keeping this going, I'm pretty sure I might catch up with him IRL some, sometime this year. That's a threat. Now that is a that is a blanket that is, that is a literal threat. Especially when he says that he's gonna come up with something creative and invasive. That is a literal fucking threat. This guy is so ass mad that I did a live stream roasting him with Keemstar. That he has threatened to come see me IRL. Dude, what is it with people from the South and trying to IRL fight? Should we contact Tara La Rosa? Uh, am I putting down a 40-year-old? What the fuck is this, dude? Like, internet tough guy coming to get me, dude. What What is this? And apparently, he has unlimited resources. More resources required, Nick. He has unlimited resources. I I'm picturing Palpatine from the third Star Wars movie screaming unlimited power. This guy is, is literally the Lex Luthor of YouTube. He's got unlimited resources. What what is what is going on, Josh? What happened? Dude, you you were normal like a week ago. When we had our falling out, I, I Josh had actually reached out to me after the Tommy and Augie streams to tell me everything was good, and I left him alone and he just dropped a giant wall of text one day and started arguing with me. Like, is there something wrong? I mean, I know you've had a history with substance abuse. Uh, has something changed? I mean, I, I mean, I would feel bad if I'm doing this live stream and something has changed. But this is, he, he's, yeah, Chad, he's lost his fucking marbles. And now it continues. When Big E says, at least Nick and Tommy have credibility, you literally defended Keemstar and lied in his favor just because he was paying you. Because, by the way, in case that last screenshot was not definitive, he says, LOL, you answered your own critique in the response. Yes, I consider YouTube to be a business. This is not a friend-making app. I can't buy a beach house with a purity test of a broke undergrad. Great analysis, by the way. The multi-millionaire is more concerned with money than the cries of random YouTubers. Okay, guys. So, money and buying a beach house is more important than the truth. Coming from the host of Pescator News. He's a news channel who is admitting to you that he can be bought and sold. Are, are we following this? I also think it's really funny that our multi-millionaire internet boy here, because uh, most people are going to ask, well, obviously he's not a multi-millionaire because no, no multi-millionaire talks like this. This sounds like everybody I've met on Xbox Live. No, Josh is a multi-millionaire. But do you know how he got his money? His dad was killed by terrorists. This guy is not self-made. Unfortunately, his dad was killed by terrorists in a situation down in South uh, South America or Mexico or somewhere over there. I don't know where the fuck it... I don't even know where it was. He got killed and Chiquita Banana was caught in a lawsuit that paid out an absurd amount of money to the families of the victims. You're literally flexing your assassinated dad's funds on me. I have a fucking college degree. I'm not an undergrad. I, I do pretty well for myself. I have a job. Um... You don't have to work another day for your in your life because you you got a lawsuit. Where do, where the fuck do you come off flexing any money on me? You you you're a fucking criminal. You've been in jail. Who the fuck are you to flex your success on me, dude? Where do you come off with uh, the multimillionaire? Yeah, you're a multimillionaire who didn't make a fucking dime of it. That's that's so funny. And it continues. Keep screenshotting, Nick. Pescator is the bad guy. But you're the one screenshotting everything he says and tweeting it. Whatever, dude. Yeah, no, no, Josh threatened me. 
to come to my house and I posted it on Twitter. So I'm the bad guy. Josh says, make sure you spell my name right, Nicole. Hey, Twitter, get ready for the dressing down of Nick Dioria. What are you gonna lift my skirt? Oh, wow, Jesus Christ. And Tommy CP. And in that Tommy CP comment, he's implying a, a, a joke that Andy Worski made a year ago about Tommy urinating on kids. It's a reference to child porn. That, that's what that's what Josh Pescator has been triggered into, calling Tommy Tommy child porn. Oh, that's that's a really interesting take from this news channel. You remember this guy reports the news? Wow. Uh, one of those guys who have wait those guys who have never made any re wait real money in life are on YouTube again, coming from the FARC terrorist fund guy. Who the fuck are you to talk about real money? LMAO, bad man, what a bunch of sissies. I can't wait to see if Nicole has the balls to say shit to my face. I guess we'll see, because I got nothing but time and money. Jesus Christ, this guy's a super villain. Lex Luthor is here, and he's, he's talking a lot of shit, guys. I should be scared right now, because we have a guy with unlimited funds who apparently knows where I live. Uh, and, and apparently he's going to use some of those unlimited funds that his daddy paid for. Well, surely Josh Pescator, the big newsman himself, has a lot of people back. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. His news team quit. I, I know it says I have disbanded my news team, but I'm pretty sure if you ask Bill Beans, uh, Bill Bain, sorry, A Star or uh, BWC or John Swan, all of them will tell you they quit. They left. They left the news team. Dude, this guy's entire news team quit because he's been spurging out in a YouTube community tab, my guy. It's gone. It's destroyed. It's not fair to them to be associated with me while I'm engaged with beef with Nicole Oreo and Tommy Childborn. Now, again, this isn't beef. You had the opportunity to join three streams we talked about you. And you didn't show up. You had the opportunity to make public statements, anything. You're just hiding on your community tab of your YouTube channel, man. I don't have a problem with you. I think you're a degenerate. I think you're shady. Would you like to debate me on the things that you've said? I could show you the screenshots. You could debate their, uh, their, um, you could, you could debate their sincerity. You, you could try to, I mean, you could try to say you didn't say th You could try to gaslight me. What, what's the debate about, bro? I'm showing the screenshots. It's all right here. I don't even have to think. I could put shit on the screen and you cancel yourself. I would like to thank them for helping me get, get my channel back on track. Oh God, it's, it's, it's p literally plummeted into the ground. And the development of my live show. Also, to speak to my credibility purity test Nicole's crying about, as I've said many times, Keemstar did many shitty underhanded things to creators, and I considered him a friend, plus I got paid for it. So just once again, buy me, dude. Buy my fucking news. I am news for hire, dog. I will say whatever the fuck you want, as long as, you know, Josh Pescator gets his money. Well, I would love to say that's the end of it. Because that's the end of what people know publicly, at least. Uh, this, it's been all over social media. Uh, I've seen a lot of people tweeting about it. Augie's weighed in. A lot of his friends have disavowed him. I've noticed he's been removed from lots of group chats, ones I'm not even in. Uh, and Josh Pescator has been sitting on his little uh, phone icon on Discord after he's threatened me, uh, signed me up for debates that I wasn't a part of, announced that his news channel is can be paid off, uh, fucking disbanded his entire news team, lied about disbanding it because they left and he's too embarrassed that they left. Naturally, that's what people know publicly. What do you think Josh is going to do now? He's had a day to sleep on this. Someone's going to reach out to him and, 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 and try to like ruffle his jimmies. What do you think Josh is going to do? Is he going to double down, triple down, quadruple down like he's been doing while he's been on vacation with his family? Or is he going to just backtrack and go, you know what, maybe I was a bit too uh, hard here. Maybe I, I kind of spurred out a little bit. Maybe I turned into the people that we usually make fun of. Well, no. He actually did the opposite. Now, I'm going to read this transcript with you because this is probably... Uh, this is the hook, line, and sinker. This is the you'll never have a career in this business ever again. Are you ready? Lieutenant Cobra says, I don't care what people think. 
Fucking bury that fat shit Nick. Thanks a lot, Cobra. Jesus. Pescator says, I'm going to fuck Nick's pussy and make Tommy child porn watch from his Euro trash apartment with disabled Dave in a hospital bed with his in-laws. People think I'm playing about rolling up on Nick at VidCon or when I'm in New York City in November. They've been wanting to see how I was 10 years ago when I went to prison. And now, since I don't do news or have to apologize to my news team anymore, I can show them how creative I can be with terror. Okay. So just to break that down, in case we were wondering if that was a threat before, he has now made a literal threat to assault me at VidCon or literally at my home. Then, he's doubled down on the Tommy CP thing, he's gone after Dead on Dave for being disabled, so I have no problem with saying fuck your dad, by the way. But, uh, yeah, now, now apparently, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna terrify us. He's gonna be uh, a really interesting, uh, a terror guy here when he uh, assaults me at VidCon and in my home on, in November. I'll be, apparently, I'll be waiting to see Josh within just a two, a two months or something. But it gets worse. Lieutenant Cobra goes, ha ha ha, please do. Do you remember when Zoom docs Nick? I have his docs from then. Now, he doesn't even say, do you want his docs? He does not even say, I can give you his docs. Josh Pescator just goes, send everything. I no longer abide by any internet norms. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, okay. So we have, part one of this is that I'm gonna assault Nick at his home. Okay, wait, wait. This is over a live stream, by the way. I'm gonna assault Nick in his home. Part two is that give me his docs, bro. Everything. Well, does he mean everything? Actually, as it turns out, as we scroll down, he does. Uh, Cobra goes, he's still in New Jersey. I mean, New York. Uh, yeah, within a drive to Manhattan. Uh, got it. New Jersey, I think he said back when the pandemic started. Hey, jackass, I'm in New York. It's like three Google searches. I'm sure you could find it. And then Pescator says, have Zoom contact me when it's convenient. I'm on vacation till next Wednesday. Wait a minute. Josh! Josh! Did you just ask to get in contact with a doxer after you asked for my address from a child? After you threatened to assault me in my home? Josh! 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 If anyone doesn't know, Zoom is the guy who helped like with the Keemstar shit in in, in like the beginning of the uh, last year to help smear just destiny as a pedophile. Dude, this is the most crazy shit that I've ever seen. Josh! What's wrong, dude? We can get you help. I'll find a fucking... If it's drugs, man, dude, we'll sign you up. We'll get you shipped off somewhere. We'll help you out, buddy. You just gotta reach out to me, dog. Holy shit. Wow. Um, uh, fuck. I, I don't know where to go from there. Actually, I do. Uh, because there's more messages. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> this, this more messages. Wait, so... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so, John, so Lieutenant Cobra gives a false uh, address. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to read it, but it's right there. It's, it's not a real address. Uh, it's definitely not where I live. And uh, he says there's an arena where I play hockey. I, I haven't played hockey in about a year. And um, an IT firm that he works for. So he has a fake job as well. And uh, in response to that, Josh says... Noice, I want it all. Thanks, Cobra. I knew not everyone gave a shit about the broke losers. Most people tell me they're friends with Nick so he doesn't cause problems in their YouTube career. Well, Josh, if that's true, it appears most people are smarter than you. I don't know why it's... Why are people doing this, dog? Dude, do people not understand? I'm not the one to fuck with. I am not the guy to pick a fight with. Do I look like I'm gonna let shit like this go? Do I look like I'm not gonna get- I'm not gonna push things until we're at the place that we are at? Do I look fucking stupid to you? There's a reason that so many people are nice to me because they're afraid of me. And you're fucking living it, dog. It's literally happening right now. 
I could give a shit about that gag YouTube channel. That's not what you told me! That's not what you told me, Josh! You told me this was the big fucking thing, dude! You're finally gonna be a YouTuber! You're finally gonna have your own channel! People are gonna know your name, Josh! You told me when you pitched it to me, you wanted Augie to do a live show on your channel, and you pitched it to me too! The whole PNN thing. You said it had 160,000 of Keemstar's biggest fans, Drama Alert's biggest fans. You told me you were gonna be huge, Josh! What happened? Oh, it just, it all crashed and burned. And then he goes, Nick even cried to TwizFizz and said, you are going to hurt my career, Twiz. Why didn't you DM me first? You know, like the big strong boy he is. He spurred out on a woman creator for expressing her opinion in public. Dude is marshmallow soft, and I'm going to squeeze them cheeks. All right, what is with all the gay references? Oh, again, that's just, like, why? Why do you want to fuck me, dude? Did they fuck your ass in prison? Were you, the, were you the prison bitch boy? Did people just unload fucking buckets of cum into your ass? Is that why you're like this, Josh? Is that why this is the fifth fucking uh, reference you've made to having sex with me? Are, are you gonna come to my house and fucking rape me in the night? I, is that what you're threatening me with, Josh? Jesus Christ. And then TwizFizz. I, I, listen, chat, I'm giving TwizFizz the benefit of the doubt. I hope TwizFizz isn't involved in this. Because I'll have you know, that DM that she's that he's referencing right there, you're gonna hurt my career, Twiz, why didn't you DM me first? That's a fucking direct quote of something that she said to me. And I'm gonna give TwizFizz the benefit of the doubt here. She might have just got confused, maybe she's not involved at all, but I'm gonna let her know, probably not the team you wanna side with, and if you start pushing, I'll just drop that DM too. Okay? Because that's not what fucking happened. And you know it. So, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping this is a misunderstanding. I don't want any drama with you. I've left you alone. And I, I, I will continue to do that. But this is just a warning shot that um, if this is what I think it is, and you're crying in his DMs or something like that, uh, that would probably not be a positive move in your favor. Lieutenant Cobra goes, ah, no problem. Him and Tommy C have fucked me over too many times. I'm not sure if he still works there. And then he put a fake company. Dude, this guy is buying this hook, line, and sinker. All Cobra did was come in and go, fuck that guy. And Josh is like, all your information is legitimate. Give me all of your information. And he goes, well, I'll make Nick say your name when I'm balls deep in that booty. Dude, is this like gay reference number four? This guy's gonna fuck me in the ass so hard that I'm gonna say Lieutenant Cobra's name? Dude, Cobra's like 16 years old. Are, are you saying you're gonna fuck me until I'm a pedophile? What is wrong with you, dude? Who, who talks like this? Are you out of your... Dude, this guy's gonna fuck me until I like children. He's gonna fuck me until I'm Digi, bro. Like, dude, you're, you're a fucking supervillain. Nobody takes you seriously. You think you sound so cool when you're saying all this shit? And dude, me and a bunch of teenagers on my Twitter timeline are laughing at you. You're the butt of the joke. Holy shit, dude. And if you think that's the grand finale, it's not. It really isn't. How could it get any worse? Well, Pescator says, Timmy CP can have a beer while he watches me own Nick. Maybe I'll give Tommy's wife or ex-wife a call. Dude, he's gonna harass Tommy's family. It just keeps getting worse. He's gonna harass Tommy's family. I wonder how much they respect him as man, provider, and father. Jesus fucking Christ. So in this span, of just two screenshots. Let's just go through this. Let's just go through this. Let's, let's do a lightning round here. So Josh announced that he was not to be trusted. Josh announced a debate that he never asked me about. Josh tried to call me a pussy for a debate that I was never invited to, that I was never attending in the first place. Uh, Josh has come out and doubled down. He's, he's called himself a millionaire. Uh, uh, he's certainly not self-made. Uh, he's going after Tommy, calling him Tommy CP, and he's uh, he's going after us for not making any real uh, money in our lifetime. Josh's entire news team quit because they found out what a fucking maniac he was. Josh threatened to literally uh, assault me in my home or at VidCon. Josh accepted my fake docs. Josh tried to get more information, including my job. Uh, Josh wanted to contact a doxer. Uh, Josh wanted to harass Tommy's family. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I think that's, that's pretty funny. But remember, guys, 
For the record, I don't dox people, and I never have. I have two years of shit that I was going to keep private, Mr. I dump everybody's messages in group chats. I don't think you really can get upset with me for leaking your DMs either, because you, you've literally leaked Tommy's and um, Keemstar's in a chat of 50 commentary YouTubers. But I feel like this screenshot contradicts this one, where he says he doesn't dox people. Uh, and I also, I, we all really felt bad for Josh when Anonymous Gene doxed him. I don't think I do anymore. It's a real shame that his family got doxed. Uh, it's a, we, we all shed a tear for Josh that day. Um, so it, it's it's really interesting. I mean, like, it's just, it, it, yeah, look, I, I send everything. I no longer uh, abide by internet norms, and I, and I don't dox people. But I, maybe it's just because Josh is just really dumb. I don't know. It's, it might be because he's just, like, uh, really stupid. He's not a very bright boy. I mean, he, he certainly wouldn't do anything. I don't know. Uh, he is calling people Tommy P C P. He, he's, he's literally, like, making a reference to Tommy peeing on children, which is a false pedophile allegation from back in the day. Uh, surely he wouldn't have, I don't know, uh, posted Ralph's sex tape in a group chat filled with children. Fuck, dude, I can't imagine. He wouldn't do that, dude. Josh wouldn't do that. Josh would not post Ralph's sex tape in a group chat filled with 50 commentators where some of them, like Aiden Projects, are children. Surely Josh would not do that if he's gonna call people Tommy CP. Surely! That's insane! Oh, God, Josh, I was, all right, guys, guys, to be fair to Josh, probably an accident. And Augie, fuck you for sending me a picture of Ralph's cock. But uh, maybe you should be smart. Uh, I don't like passing around sex tapes. Uh, since he's a public figure and a figure in the community, here is the alleged video. Uh, at Bill Baines runs the uh, PNN Twitter and is my right-hand man. If anyone ever needs me, ask him. Well, I I'm not going to ask you to ask Bill Baines. He's a former employee, but I want to know why you posted that in a group chat with minors in it. Um, uh, that's just probably a bad move. Uh, he, maybe he's just not very smart. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't... I, I, I genuinely mean it. This is not a joke or anything. It was probably just something that went over his head and he didn't even consider it at the time. I, it's probably not very difficult to uh, forget people's ages, especially when you've only seen them online. But if you're going to sit here and you're going to talk about pedophile allegations for my friend that was literally you pee on children at a bathhouse, um, I think it's worth telling everybody you accidentally sent a sex tape to a group chat filled with children. Are you going to get a restraining order? I mean, I feel like I should contact the police, but I also feel like he's an internet tough guy. So if I die, you know who did it. Uh, Lieutenant Cobra also really wants me to show this screenshot, so I will. Uh, because he's a fucking maniac, and I, I really appreciate his help on this one. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye. Uh, he sent, Don't move, filming a documentary about retards. And Josh responded with a question mark. Yeah. He didn't even realize. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. So, yeah. That's uh, that's where we are, guys. Thank you to guys who came out today. I see a lot of people in chat. I saw a lot of check marks. Shout out to Dead on Dave, who got dragged into the drama. And I, I just... I, 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 I'm sorry to, sorry to have you... Uh, insulted there. I think the funniest part of this whole thing is that it looked like Josh decided that he was going to stop, right? That this, this message was edited and he removed like the get the cheeks line and all that stuff. But what I found out was John and A-Star were trying to help him and trying to delete it and he screamed at them behind the scenes. They literally tried to stop him from fucking himself publicly and he just didn't. He just kept going so yeah not gonna tell you to unsub Josh Pascator I think YouTube does that for me anyways thank you guys very much it's been a pleasure so in the time since I streamed I dropped the scrolling DM proof on Twitter and then people started flooding in to hand me shit to talk about it's almost like this guy's fucking mental well the first one who reached out to me was Aiden who left me these messages Josh dude you gotta take a break from the internet man I like you and I don't want to see you fall but some of the shit you're saying is whack man just take a break please whack is in what bro I'm good it's about time I handle this problem it has festered for long enough 
I always mean what I say. If Nick is afraid of when I step up to him IRL, that's his problem. This YouTube stuff is a game for me, Aiden, and nothing Nick or Tommy or anyone for that matter can say or do to affect my life. But I have a feeling me and Nicole will meet and everyone can see how much of a bitch he is. I'm actually kind of liking this heel turn in doing. It's very liberating. Which is just really funny because he's like talking about like assaulting me at VidCon to like a, a fucking child. Like, wh why does he keep doing this? Like, he's, what, he's going over this with his little fucking 16 year old pal? That's, that's so fucking weird. I've also been told from multiple different sources that he also posted George Floyd's sex tape in the same group chat we were talking about and in the chat they messaged him going what the fuck Josh why did you post this uh, I don't personally remember that I was in the chat at the time that's just an allegation but I'm being told that he also fucking posted George Floyd's sex tape and as I was about to post this I, I got another message that was leaked on discord it says he talks shit about me when I was out of town and couldn't respond and pretends I ain't gonna do shit because he doesn't believe I sold my house in the middle of moving to Florida when I get settled with my people PC and Mike, I'm gonna show Nicole Oreo how much of a soft pussy bitch he is in front of everyone on stream. VidCon 2021 is gonna be amazing. I'ma pull up Nick's skirt and show his boy pussy. How tall is Nick, by the way? Dude, you're such a fucking loser. I don't think I've ever seen anybody get this, like, fucking triggered over a live stream. Like, it's so funny, dude. Jesus Christ. I mean, I said it before, like, what is with all these fucking gay sexual references he's making towards me? Are you, like, projecting, dog? Like, what the fuck is happening? happening. He's like ready and willing to tell the entire community that he plans to assault me at a convention and he doesn't think that like looks horrible. I mean, dude, you're done in this community. You have nothing to add. You're a garbage YouTuber, a terrible streamer, a liar, a manipulator. You are literally just destroying your own career minute by minute and I, I see people are disavowing you like a motherfucker, dude. Jesus Christ. And again, as I'm gonna end this fucking recording, a 30 minute phone call just leaked of Josh spurging out. I'm just gonna play it. I just want to let Josh know something really personal for a minute because I, I don't know, I, I hear this bothers him and I want to address it right like right now. I just want to say like, uh, you know, it, it's one thing to try to like dox my family and talk about having my mom's information and uh, talk about all these different things and, and you know, try to like, go after Tommy's family and make some comments about how uh, like the Tommy CP thing and all that stuff and it's 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 one thing to fuck with me but uh, I just wanted to fuck with you. Your dad's dead. <laughs> All that shit down. I just got my phone. That's why y'all can only hear me like this in the car. So, uh, I mean, if it's like my language or whatever, I totally understand it. But when people, when someone goes like that to me, you got them right. I'm coming right at his ass. And when I go in November to New Jersey, well, actually, there's two times I think I might be around him. I got to go to November to Jersey because my grandma's 95th birthday, and he lives not that far away. Or we could just go VidCon 2021, and I can embarrass him, you know, in front of the crowd or whatever. And then I can kick the shit out of him or whatever. It don't matter. There's a lot of different things, but that's like a year that's away. Or I'm, I'm going to say this. Uh, don't do anything that will get you in serious trouble. I know yeah, you could. Yeah, because you make yeah, 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 yeah. roll up on him, and a lot of it and came what? off as threats. And as what? It, a lot of what you said came out came came off as you threatening him. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. Like it's 100 percent the threat. I, I'm not that, playing, man. dude. I'm not playing. You think I? You think I know the law? I can kick his ass right there whenever we're at. I get a misdemeanor assault charge. I'll bond myself out with the fucking money I got in my pocket. This shit's fine. I'm tired of this shit. I'll fuck his uh, job yeah, up. I, I get it. I get I'll it. I'll fuck his it. career up on YouTube. And then I'll, I'll, I don't know what I can do to Tommy because that's in the EU. And I don't really, I can't really do shit outside of the United States. But inside the United States, if he wants to get a lawyer, he wants to call the cops, he wants to call the FBI, fucking have at it. And anyone who wants to, you know, doesn't approve of this. That's why I put that thing up that said, I'm disbanding my news team because whatever I do is going to be accountable for me. And I know exactly what I can handle, and it's a lot. So we'll see. We'll see between me and him. We'll see who breaks first as a bitch because I'm definitely pulling his bitch card. Sorry, guys. I'm going to show you all how big a pussy Mick Diorio is and how big a loser Tommy Callahan is or whatever. Then I might jump around 
and expose the tax fraud that King's trying to put on his new scene. I might just fuck around and do some more shit because now I'm just now I'm just tired of it. Now I can go as hard as I want to, and I have shit that no one else in the world has. So I could do shit that's like so amazingly petty and stupid, you know. But it amuses me, and it doesn't really cost me much. So there's a cost benefit nice. analysis that I had to all this. So y'all really want to see exactly who I am? This is who I am. This is who I am. Someone sits there and talks shit on me when I'm out of town, moving house, and I can't respond or anything, and then they say, oh, he's hiding because he can't respond. Knowing goddamn well that I just sold a fucking quarter million dollar house and bought an $80,000 share in a construction company? Yeah, I'm really concerned about a fucking YouTuber, an underage YouTuber that's making some fucking little videos on me. I could buy his mom's house, burn it down, build it again, burn it down again, and then build it again. I don't care about these people. Now, I know y'all probably don't uh, approve of this, and I, so I wouldn't if I was, you know, in a normal state of mind. But now they've picked on it, doing this shit for years, going on ever since, like, what, 2017? So now I'll just go ahead and I'm going to end it. They might have started it, but I'm going to fucking end it. So they can, you can tell them all this. I hope y'all are recording it so you can show it to them because it's the exact same fucking thing that I'll say to them as soon as I get my PC up. And you bring Nick, I mean, he can bring a, Daniel, Keen, or fucking Tommy, bring them all. Bring them fucking all. In fact, let's do this shit in person. He, he I, I'll fly anywhere. Clear in the video. It, it's that this is petty high school drama. You, uh, you, you know, it, still he wants, he wants, what? He, he wants uh, to help you if there's something going on because he said that there, you... there's nothing going on. His bitch ass friend, it was talking shit on me for years, literal fucking years. Because they could not ever figure out anything I was saying about my cases, my landmark, president-setting Supreme Court cases that only two has ever happened in this entire world. So they want to keep picking at that shit when I can't really talk about it because I'm legally not allowed to? Then fine. I'm done with it now. I'm exactly off of any kind of legal responsibility and any kind of criminal responsibility has far passed. It's been seven years. I've got my record expunged. I can go through a whole new set of criminal uh, proceedings, and it only is like misdemeanor shit. I know my, my country. I know exactly how this shit works. I had to get a lawyer to get my fucking Twitter account back. You think I'm fucking not ready to get a lawyer on anyone else that, that just wants to stick their hand up? The channel is mine. I can prove it with paperwork, tax receipts, uh, business and corporation, uh, whatever the fuck else he wants to know. I just don't put this shit out because I'm an adult. I'm not a fucking 22-year-old. I have assets. I have fucking liabilities that people have to take care of. I have millions and millions of dollars in a portfolio in a real estate deal and I'm going down to Florida to do. So please explain to me how a joke YouTube news site is worth any of the trouble they are fucking putting me through. Please. I mean, I, I don't know, man. You... So okay. you know, keep in mind what that, with that, someone is that uh, you, uh, you, I mean, you're screaming at us right now, but keep in mind that we right. can impossibly know everything that's going on, so you have oh. to explain oh. if you have Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, have. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. That's why I got in my PC. I can't, I can't run. What am I going to do, y'all? I'll run back to the... I'm going to go drive three hours, go get my PC, go find wherever... Where am I going to get internet? Can't get at the hotel. I don't have broadband there. Well, okay, well, I'll rent another room or something, set up my PC, set up a camera, set up a fucking mic, you know, you know, I don't care about this. In a week, I'll have my stream back up, I'll bitch him out exactly like I'm doing now, I'll put my dick on every one of them, and then after that, it's over with. I'll go back to doing my fun streams, and everyone, we can joke, and, you know, I don't care about making money on my channel, I give it all away. So don't they hate me because they're not me. I yeah. Think, yeah, but you're Josh, not sure but Josh, don't you real? But Josh, um, I know I, I know I don't know you that well. I just, I've just only uh, like joined a couple months or weeks ago. But I may not be smart with a lot of things. But <laughs> I just want to say that. Don't you think that what you're planning to do right now with these people? Have you ever considered the consequence of how this is going to ruin? Yeah. This may damage your yeah, reputation and may, and it may 
and it may cost the respect of the people that respect you right yeah, now. Yeah, and, you're right. You're right. That's, that's and in my cost in my cost benefit analysis that I did a couple of days ago when I, when I decided to go this route. I, I put all this into account, y'all. I know I'm going to lose a lot of friends going through this, but I'm you don't have to, to do it, Joe. You don't have what to are you do this, about? though. These bitches, these bitches have been talking shit on me for yeah, fucking yeah, years. Sure, but and they're going to wait until I leave. I, I don't think that's the answer in any situation. Especially it's not when best we're talking about people that are these, this young. You know, uh, people at Nicholas, uh, at Nicholas' age, they are cocky as fuck. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Age I, too. This is, okay, y'all want to hear something else? Y'all, y'all want to hear more behind the scenes of uh, uh, drama? Okay, yeah, y'all know sure. Twiz Fizz, right? The, the girl that does the, the satirical videos, the real, the nice girl, the real happy, funny one. Yeah. Y'all know her, right? Yeah, we y'all know her. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nick, she spoke her mind about how she felt on, like, her woman or whatever. Nick goes to her in the DMs and says, you better not talk about that. You could hurt my career. You come to me next time in the DMs, you talk about it. Now, I know for a fact that everyone around me, they say the exact same thing. Don't engage with Nick and Tommy because, you know, we don't like them, but we still got to deal with them or whatever. Yeah, we still got to yeah, deal with them. Uh, right. I, this, is me, this is me jumping on the grenade to, to expose how much, of a, how much of a fraud and a bitch these people are. Yeah, in because they would not that, know, he that, said, said that the, there's probably a reason why people don't want to mess with him so he don't understand why you are messing with him right now because i can because i i have the ability to reach out anywhere across the united states pretty much do whatever i want whether it's like i hire someone to do it or i do it myself i, I can do that because i have no job i well actually not no job i own my own business actually i own a couple businesses and uh i don't have a wife i've got a couple girlfriends and i have kids uh i'm going to florida i Gonna have the time of my life. I'm got a lot of shit lined up, so I got a lot of extra time because I don't have to worry about doing like a news network or carrying that kind of stuff. I'm still gonna do the stream while I do news, but I just kind of simplified everything because I was holding too many quote unquote employees for this for this kind of work. I wasn't getting what I'm putting into it. I wasn't getting the same back out of it. So as long as I'm zero on the channel, I could care less. Like when I come back. I'm going to have a $500 giveaway. I'll give away $100 gift certificates times five just because that's the money that uh, what that Bill, he could only pay for half of his PC because he's leaving, so he gave me half that money. And then John gave me $150 for the play button that I bought him, which he didn't have to, but you know, whatever. But that money I don't want, so I'm going to give that away. So when we get back on stream, I'll, I'll figure something out. But, um, but yeah. That's why I'm going at him because I can. I can embarrass him and show everyone that he's ever talked shit about. Uh, I'm Alex, fucking Tonka. Anyone here ever talked big shit on like that? We'll sh I'll show them exactly what happens when you are confronted with it in real life. Because I'm willing to bet, in fact, I'm willing to bet quite a bit that he's a bitch. And when I come to him and step straight up to him and say, you a bitch, Nick. You want to step outside and have a fight? You want to kick your fucking ass, your fat fucking ass outside? All his friends around and stuff, everyone's filming, and they're like, oh, God, Josh is going crazy. Oh, is, is he going to hit him? No one's going to do shit, because that's what these kids do. They don't do anything. So I have to show them what it's like in the real world when you talk shit like that. Because if you talk shit on a live stream, to me, it's basically talking to it in real life. You might as well be calling me on the phone and saying it. But he did it yeah, to where I couldn't even yeah, call yeah. in. I couldn't even call in. And I hope that you don't actually physically assault him. Because I that's don't the best solution. I, it's not best I, to I, fight fire what. with fire. Yeah, it's I'll not. Tell you what. I'll make it okay. I'll make it easy. I'll make it easy on everyone. I'll challenge Nick to a boxing match. We could do it at a little bar in VidCon twenty twenty one. Or we could set it up and do something. It is done in the uh, well, mm -hmm. the other people, the Jake Paul boxing, or all the other people, I think it's fun. It would give me enough time to like get in shape and kind of like, you know, like eight months maybe. I get I in think shape that's by then. Another way to approach this because yeah. if, I think I, I think if he that, agrees, that is fine. I, I want yeah, to, if I he want, agrees, I want to make sure. I want to yeah, I want to make well, if he, you know, if he doesn't agree, and I see him at VidCon, and I'm still going to come and punk him. 
I might not kick his ass like per se, but I'm definitely gonna test his nut. Don't so, don't uh don't kick his ass. I'm just gonna say that now. Do not do that. We do not need you going to well, prison. Okay, I know you said uh I know you said you could bail yourself I mean, out and I mean, everything, but you don't. Yes, Nicholas. Uh, by the way, it's like 22, right? 21, 22. That, that's I, I got all. I got all this information here. Like as soon as all this shit popped off, I had a bunch of people jumping in my DMs, like telling me where he lives, where he works, oh, where you yeah. know his mom, or uh, everything, uh, basically everything. Okay, okay. Pescator. Should I tell them about Pescator? Uh, you do about the boxing match. The information you have is probably not accurate. High school. Uh, well, I mean, Nicholas brought up the people. I, that I, I don't. Him. I haven't. Yeah, he did do he that. Was, he did what? The the people that contacted you with information about him, they were essentially trolling you. Oh, uh, when Cobra did that. Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's real or not. Yeah, Cobra's in the uh, Cobra's in the uh, VC, by the way. Lieutenant Cobra's in the VC right now. So, I'm just so letting like, you know. In their VC? In their no, VC? Art, art. He changed oh, his name to Epic Gamer, bro. Why isn't he talking? He had to self muted. Uh, I don't know. Oh. He, he probably. Well, I don't care. I, this is this exactly. This is this is exactly the difference between me, who is not a YouTuber. And them who are a YouTuber. The information and I, everything I said to Cobra, they can screenshot it. They can show anyone they want. I'm prepared to uh, take accountability for everything I say. Me and my firm, any lawyers that I need to go with, they will be done with. If you need to contact me, just type in Josh Pescatore Lawyer. I guarantee it will come up like on the first fucking thing. So just let them know that I don't care about screens. Oh, look, he's talking. Look, yeah, I'm... I'm I'll beat his, I want to beat his ass, but if y'all, if we do want to do this, like, boxing thing and set it up and make it, like, he can work out and lose a little bit of that weight. I don't know how he's going to grow any inches, but he can still lose some weight. And uh, yeah. and we can do it like that, you know? And then we don't have to talk yeah. about it no more. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so, I mean, yeah, definitely, like, I, mm, you guys need to settle your differences and everything, in my opinion, but... Don't yeah, eat, have him come eat. on my stream when I'm on, like I've said, like, I don't, I don't know how many times I've said this. When I'm back on my stream, like September the 2nd or the 3rd, uh, he can come yeah. on. He can ask any question he wants. He can ask me about my life, the cases, time in prison, money I made, hoes I fucked, I don't care. Yeah, he did like, bring that know. prison stuff up on uh, his stream. He yeah, did bring, yeah, I did yeah. 18 months. I did 18 months. I, and it was, it was an eye-opening experience. Let me fucking tell you that. The picture on one of my YouTube uh, channels was a picture I took in the... Because I didn't really go... It wasn't like, like what, prison so much. Like in Alabama, it's not really prison. It's like work camp. Like, a, you know, you could call with dope. You could call with some dope, go do 12 months, come home. Basically, that's, that's all it is. And uh, they, uh, when I was at work camp, like on the seventh month or eighth month, I was like really, really fucking struggling. And I had a cell phone that I snuck in, and we were all using. And I took a picture of myself, uh, you know, on a wall or something. And I used that picture as a reminder not to fuck up anymore. So, yeah. So, anyone this is can why... say, like, oh, yeah, you're a piece of shit. You went to prison. You're a junkie. You did all this. You're doing drugs, blah, blah, blah. I'll counter that with all that whatever i did it if you're looking through my record i'm 41 years old i'm not brand new i'm not a 22 year old there's a lot of shit i've done a lot of shit I've done, they didn't catch me for neither yeah this is why people my age i'm 23 but that's why people my age they they love drama i'm i don't know how old i bully bullies it but i'm pretty 29. sure you're you're what 29 29 yeah, I'm, people love these. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. be. Uh... You're going to what? Josh, what you say? Uh, no, Josh, I, Josh. That wasn't me. Uh, oh, that was Josh. Is Josh, sir? What did he say? I didn't. I couldn't hear him. It just yeah. Cut out. He. I think he. I. If he's on his uh, cell phone, it's gonna. It's gonna cut out everybody's voices where you can't hear them or yeah, more. That's, that's why. That's why I can't call into a stream or anything, y'all. Like, 
I mean, it, this could cut out at any time. I know it sounds like ass. I just yeah. don't want to portray that kind of image. Like, if he wants to talk shit on me, that's cool. At least yeah. wait until I can get on a fucking PC. God damn. You know, yeah. shit. If you want to be a bitch like that, I can, I can, let's put it this way. I can disprove everything he has on the Dr. Chicago thing. Because now that my Twitter account's been put back because of the, the lawyers, which that's a story in and of itself that y'all are going to love to hear here because it involves Twitter, Chris Hansen, and that trust and safety team. Um, but I'll tell that on the stream because that's a great story. But now that I got the Twitter account back yesterday, uh, before I did any of this, by the way, like my lawyer called me early in the morning let me know that. I got the Twitter account. I was able to go back and get those DM messages that he, that, that little clip that Nick keeps showing that just has like three messages on it. Like that was a long conversation that night. And it even has me saying in there, it's like, oh, I'll refund the 50 because I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to buy all for 50 bucks. Ha ha ha. It, I get it with more than 50 bucks. Ha ha ha. Yeah, okay. Cool. I just don't feel good. All right, cool, man. I refund it. The next day, he says, man, that money, uh, can I get back that money? And I, and at that point, I knew it was a setup. I knew that they were setting me up. Because this shit happened, like, over the course of two months. And I don't understand why he's using this little, little small clip. Because if I show the whole thing, it's just going to look like a dude struggling, begging me for money, and me giving it to him. And at the moment I give it to him, he, like, flips. And he's like, oh, I can't take it because Tommy's going to be mad. Hello. Hello, Oxy Cheeks. Uh, how you doing? Who? <laughs> yeah, but no, the thing is... Cobra, that's unnecessary. Yeah, that... It's... But no... I mean, but I've got, I've got all that proof. That's, I'll have to get it on my PC. If he wants to see the, the paperwork for the channel to let him know that I... Keem, I've had that channel. Keem can sit there and cry about all he wants to. The only reason why I don't put Keem on the glass about it is because it's, it's pointless. Keem knows he's not going to sue me. He's not going to use that fucking strip mall lawyer and go against somebody like me that's represented by a Manhattan firm basically for free now. And, you know, all I got to do is just call him. That's all I do for Twitter. I, I call him and say, hey, do y'all have, can y'all get in touch with the, y'all's IP department and get a lawyer to talk, call over at Twitter and see what, what's up before we file suit on them? And that's exactly what happened. Twitter didn't want to have this lawsuit because they know that Chris Hansen and Gene's been fucking around on their platform and lied. So they, they allowed me, they, the deal they made with me is they said, we'll allow you back one account because they did both of them. They said, we'll give you one of them back if you, not, if you promise not to file suit. Yeah. I said, okay. I, I, have a, like, I have I a question on uh, something that Nick did show. He did show a screenshot of the leaked footage of, I forget the goddamn YouTuber name, but sex tape, and apparently you uh, sent it to a group chat full of minors. What? Oh, the chat. Oh, the, they, Ralph's, uh, Ralph's, uh, what's it? Yeah, I had told him that. I was like, yeah, this is, this is the leak. And I thought, fuck it, so what? That was going around to everyone. Everyone was asking well, it for it. I was they like, are here. Kids, man. You can't, you have to take there's, things there's like all, that in consideration. There's older people. There's older people in that chat, too. I can't keep up with everybody's fucking age in that chat. I'm yes. not liable for the, I'm not liable for shit like that. They can put, try to put it on me the much they want. I don't own that fucking chat. Yeah, it's li uh, I can totally understand that. It's liable for them because they have right. minors in chat, but they're also. But you're also a reliable. I'm not. No, you know. I, I have no liability, none yeah. whatsoever. That's that's on Twitter, and I go by things legally. I don't go by it morally or like this seems right or this seems wrong. I'm sorry if it seems bad or on the face of it, but know that I stand behind the fact that I don't fucking care. This was the 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 little clip that Ralph was sending that everyone was laughing at, that everyone fucking saw. It wasn't like a full-born ass-up porno or some shit. Two fat people rubbing on each other. Basically all the fuck it was. So, I mean, even if Cobra's in the chat, you know your little ass was begging me for it. You, you know you were. So, I don't care. If they don't, if, 
if you're that young and you're messing around in a fucking chat with grown men, I don't fucking care. That's I ain't, trying, I ain't trying to groom kids. I ain't trying to fucking groom kids or fucking put kids in some sort of weird position. There's 40-year-olds in that chat, too. Vegas in that bitch. I yeah. can totally understand that, third. Mm, that I can totally that's understand where you're coming that's from. A fucking, that's a reach and a half right there. Because they're the ones that did that Instagram CP shit. I don't get on okay, anything for that. You're not contributing with anything, Cobra. Cobra, you need to stop with that. That's kind of annoying. We're actually trying to get serious. We're having well, serious I, I, can't, I, don't, I can't see what he's saying because I'm driving right now. In no, fact, he he's making fart noises. Sounds. He did uh, make him fart noises, basically. Oh. Yeah. Why don't, be, why don't you unmute and talk, bro? I mean, if you're going to try to... If you're going to want to fuck me over, just say to my face. I mean, you're not fucking me over because anything... I, like I've said, anything... I I've would said, thoroughly enjoy done, to fuck you me. over. Who? What? I, w I have thoroughly enjoyed fucking you over. Great. Is that I what you want me to say? Um, great. Great. Right, how disclose. much you get paid? How much I get paid? Sure. It's, it's not about money, it's about integrity. Well, I don't care. I, I do shit about money. You can't fucking spend integrity. The fuck I care about integrity of a bunch of kids on YouTube. Oh, it's not, it's, all you people care about what is money. What the fuck money. I care about a bunch of All integrity. you people it's care about YouTube. is money. This world right. deserves a better right. class. I'm 41 people. and I'm a fucking multi-millionaire. That is yes, all why I do you care, care about. so much you about money? Me. You've got it. You've got enough. Why? It's not got to be the sole <sighs> interest of everything you do. Oh, I'll keep. I'll keep going until I, the day I die. I mean, that's just who I am. Okay. If you don't like making money, if you don't like making money, that's fine. I I, I don't know what well, to tell you. You, you know, society Tommy. relies on money heavily. However, that out. is not the sole purpose in life. You know, a lot of people with money right, can't but I, decide, listen, You know, this is it's not the answer to everything. Your life, your little life, right now, you can have as much purpose as you want to do. That's you. I'm 41. I like to own assets and like big shit. So when I go into a bank, they like say, oh, Mr. Pescator, come right this way. Do you need anything? Would you like to make some money today? Oh, yeah, sure. I'd like to do that because it helps me and my family. You're not part of my family. You're like a business, like a work person I know or something. That's all it is. This wasn't even my... Like, this, this, this wasn't even how the conversation too much started. Stock in this YouTube shit. You what take too much stock in this YouTube shit. Because I'll still stream on that channel <laughs> when I get my PC back on, and I'll I'll do whatever I want to do. But what's the point, the man? Your credibility yeah. is gone. There is no money to make now on YouTube. You are fucking finished. What are you fucking talking about, bro? But you can, you can have your little, like, IRL life, but you have literally admitted to trying to fucking pretty much kill Nicholas Diorio and wanting yeah, to get in I'll contact with a fucking dude, pedophile put it, put it doctor. Put it in the paper. I, this is why I don't want to have this until I'm back on my computer because I'll, I'll shit on all y'all and I don't fucking care. You, you, you are finished on this I don't fucking I invest in Dogecoin. I think uh, your shit is um, trying to say something. You would seriously what? throw us uh, all under the bars? Oh. What, uh, Nick was... I don't, I don't, y'all are talking all at the same time. Yosh to Yosh, let him speak. I, I would. Go on, go on, Yosh. Okay, go on ahead. Johnny or Pesco? Yosh to Yosh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we're all named Josh here. Yeah, we're going to call him Josh. -er. My quit. yeah, call me Josh. -er. My question is, you, Escator, you would seriously throw us all under the bus for whatever it is you want to carry out? Ironic. Well, what you, like, what? Well, I don't see how I'm throwing y'all under the bus. I'm just wanting to fuck up Nick. That's it. And you, and you actually Nick, said you would shit on all of us. Like, what did we ever do to uh, you? Uh, what I mean, the people talking shit on me. Like, if you're you talking shit on about me, money, you only care about money. You said it yourself. You right. Don't give a shit about these yeah, people. Exactly, dude. When it hey, comes you don't give a shit about anyone it, else. I, you, you want, you want me, you want me to tell you the, my my mindset on the entire thing. I no, really. have people I know on YouTube. There's nice people. I've met a lot of great people. Met a lot of shitty people. I started on YouTube to make a little bit of money until I had to get done with all these court cases. Got involved with Keem. Shit got a little fun. 
we were doing a lot of crazy shit. We made a lot of, you know, made money. Sometimes we got in fight. Us. It was nice. It's fun. Kept, think, kept me uh, busy when I wasn't doing much. You, your sh- your, your I, I, that's, I, I got to go in here and get the get these boxes real quick after I'm all finished, off the phone. But uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, like everyone that I know on YouTube, it's like they're like work friends to me. And if you want to talk shit on me and, like, do what you did and just kind of fuck up, then, yeah, I'll shit on you and not really think much about it. I'd rather get paid to shit on you, but I'll do it for free. You're threatening to do it. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Yeah, I said I'll do it. You say you 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 abide by the law, right? You say you yeah, abide by the law yeah, and that doxing is against the law. Okay, one. You don't care about morals, you care about the law, bro. You're the law. Bro, you you the I can't law. hear you. Well, I, I, who, someone talk at one time. I can't. Cobra, right, what I'll were you talk. saying? I'll talk. I know. I want to hear what Cobra has to say. I want to hear what Cobra has to say. You claim that you don't care about morals, but you go abiding by the law, correct? And. Doxing is against the law, so isn't that quite hypocritical? Well, I didn't put out this information anyway. Uh, wait, 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 legally, I didn't put out this information anyway. I'm just gathering it, research. Like, I'm yeah. not putting it out on platform. I'm gathering it for my and, and then going to his house and invading his privacy. No, no, I, I, no I'll stay on any kind of public street. It's I mean, so you saw how Hanson did so it. What? He knows exactly He knows exactly how it works. As long as so you're in a what? public area... So you're fine. Cool. I'm not going to anyone's house. I'm what. pretty much. I'm pretty sure that's the reason you harass me. So, so why, why, why do you want to know where his house is? Why do you want to know where his house Mate. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Stop screaming, right bro. You're going to, like, crash your car, bro, and take out a family. Yeah, you should <laughs> see. Yeah, I, I would really hate to be Nick, to tell you the truth. Uh, did he go? Is it is, is over with? I don't know. Hurry on. No, Cobra got you there. Alright. Okay, so... Continue on, Pets Tour, you were saying? Uh... I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, uh, he has private property. Like, you can't walk up to him house and start beating him on the street or something. But, if it was, uh... He can meet me in public. Like, I, I'm... Fully prepared to address him front and say, "Look, you have a problem with me. You have talked shit on me a lot. I would like for us to solve this problem." Seriously, yeah, for gaming. Seriously, Cobra, what the fuck? You I, trying? I got time for this, y'all. Seriously, like I really got stuff. Oh, to do. Like, some y'all bullshit. Y'all the y'all the issue Nick like, have with you, mate, is that you are threatening him to beat him up. It's like it's right. Eric, hey, it's hey, you hey, 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 no, bro, no, bro. hey, 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 look, look, y'all can go have stream, talk about it, make make some videos, just spell my name right. I gotta go, all right? Wow. Bro. Bro. Are you Whoa. kidding me? I am fucking Bro, you ended him. What a fuck. I'm just going to say retard, that. Bro. You ended him. What a fuck. He's a retard. No, he's a faggot. This, we gotta find him. Now, now what do we do? That's, that's the first clue.